That's a beauty. Look at this. It's burning too hot. I want the bread inside. The weather got nasty. Oh wow. The what are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another video. Long time didn't post any videos. I'm here with another video tapping birch trees. So I tried one, drilled a hole. Look at that, it's beautiful. This is just my test. That's the last year's hole. It healed up pretty good. This year I'm gonna do a little different. I'm gonna use same wooden straws. One side goes into the tree and one side gonna go on top, on top of the tube. And I'm gonna use bigger buckets because those little ones are filling up way too fast. I just put that one in and look how much there is already. And this is my little helper today, little Eddie. Fast Eddie. Not too deep, that's good enough. Oh, it's running. Okay, I'm gonna find a spot where it can actually sit good. Set the tree so it doesn't flip. And I'll uh, get that, measure how much I need. Just like that. Squeeze it in like that. It actually goes on nice and tight. Oh yeah, it's running right away. Then I'll just put that in here. Last year I did, I was using those little ones and every two hours we had to go around and then at, even at night time, we couldn't really sleep, so every two hours we had to go collect and stuff. This year I'm doing a little bit easier, right? I'll be cooking some syrup too. That's the third tree. Down the tube. Silver, I miss that so much. Gonna be first sip. Oh. If you never tried it, you gotta try it. Oh, that's, great. that's so fresh. Finally, spring is here. I was waiting for that whole winter. And that's my meal now. Birch's uh, sap with uh, quinoa salad and some fish. So far I got seven trees stacked. Probably gonna have like 20 all together. We'll see how much we'll need. Okay, this shed was full. That's what we used for the whole winter. We still have lots left. It's more than half still we got left. Today is April 20th, 2021. Minus today at night. So everything was kind of frozen a little bit. There's some chunk, chunks of ice. And the trees, they do stop when it's cold, I think. Starting to dripping now again. There you go, I'm gonna start boiling sap soon. Daytime, I'm gonna do wood. I'm gonna start the fire in the middle here. Put a pot on top of those bricks. And for the night, set it up with propane. So we'll see how that goes. Dump this through the filter. It's almost full. Just two trees. Okay, that's a tree number three.
Okay, we're gonna try this now, see if it works. There's one tree that had only that much over all night, so we're gonna plug that tree. Not quite full, we're gonna have to tap more trees. It's burning too hot now, but as soon as it starts warming up, we're gonna slow down the fire a bit. Everybody's doing something. Joe's job is keep an eye on the fire and so it doesn't boil too much. We don't wanna burn it. So far it looks good, it doesn't boil too hard, but it's steaming really good. Works good with the fire, so a whole bunch of leftovers here. Slowly he's adding. How do you like your job? Like a office chair and he's just sitting and tanning. So far I got 15 trees tapped. I might tap like five more probably to make it 20, so we can keep up. That's another last year's, that's the way it's healing. We collected it a little bit over 70 liters this morning of sap, so. This is full. I made those yesterday on a spindle, and then videotape. That's uh, another tubes. Gonna tap more trees. This is going pretty good. It's not boiling, it's just heating up, because we just started it today. It's windy, the wind helps, blows all the moisture away, so if it starts boiling, we're gonna have to cut the down on fire a bit. Oh my goodness, it's so windy. We got a saying, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. The weather got nasty on me. It was a nice, beautiful plus 14. Now it's cold, freezing. It's supposed to get to minus eight tonight and windy and snowing. I already took it off from the fire and I doing it with propane now, covered in this box. It'll be here all night. Yeah, that's the beauty about living up north here. It can be nice and then it could be like this. You dressed t-shirt, hot, and then you're freezing. <laughs> Hat and jacket and back to winter. Merry Christmas. We can have a Christmas summertime. I guess that's what it is. Drinking coffee and having a live TV. Beautiful birds. We got minus nine today. Winter's back. All my sap is frozen. Okay, a little updates here. What happened at nighttime, this propane fire went off somehow from the winter. I don't know the reason yet. It was minus eight, the water was almost frozen. So early in the morning I got up and started with the fire again. It's cooking again. So we missed a lot, but I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with this propane. Everything is frozen. From summer we get wind. Like all the sap inside here, it's frozen. Frozen, I got two of these. Last year when we did it, we never had minus like that, never had anything frozen. It's supposed to be nice again tomorrow and the whole week. It's just one day. It was minus eight. Making syrup, it comes with those difficult stuff. Stuff freezes, gets cold, windy. It was so windy that it blew off the fire on the propane. I don't know if that was the reason or not. I don't know. It's just a lot of propane into the atmosphere. But looks like it's a nice day. Gonna be plus three. Nice and sunny. Looks like sap is going again. This thing has been boiling all night. No, oh, but too much! This thing is big. I'm out of propane outside, so I decided to boil it down more here.
Nine jars. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Gonna wash this thing and start over again. We're gonna go collect some sap. This is all my helpers. No filling up. Mary, with this. When we're putting stuff in, you just hold that so it doesn't fall. That's it? It's your job, yeah. I see some bit in there. Mm -hmm. It's tiny bit here too. A little bit of ice. Well, the most staff in this area. You want those? There is a few. I'll spill one. Okay. I'll spill some staff. You want to fill mm -hmm. some? Yeah. After? There's bugs in the sap! Let's see. That's why we filter them there. Ew. That's why these things are here. Mm. See when the bugs get in. Is that too heavy? Maybe a little bottle will do it. That's perfect for you, Mary. Sweetie. Okay, Mary, spill. Last two trees. And this bucket is pretty much full. Canadian entire Ooh. buckets are so hard to open. Let's fill that in here. Bottom, and then slowly dump it in there. Try to put handles away from the fire. Boiling and boiling. It's supposed to rain today and snow again and rain, so I gotta set up here. I'm gonna put this here for the night. Since we got fire going, what do you guys got there? Dough. A dough? Ah. Ah. It goes right here. It's so cold. Perfect time to be beside the fire. Yes, sir. Now you didn't get off my chair. Yep.
I don't even know if I burnt it or not. I sometimes I just shove it in the fire accidentally. You didn't do a single thing to it. Joe. Yeah. Did you tell Simon that? He yeah, he's coming. It cooks long. Joe, if you want the bread inside to be soft and outside yeah, crispy. Yeah, I know. You have to cook it long. Oh, actually, yeah, it's brown. I didn't know to see that. This is probably gonna be the best dough I ever made. Jess, you're gonna drop it. It's gonna burn. Because I never. I would always hurry. I would always like bring it into the fire. Like. Just because I would go like, and make a brown just eat it. Never hurry. Just but cook the, it. The best way is like this. Yes. I, I always go like cook already. The best way is just spinning it full time. With marshmallows, I usually burn it because I want it to be already cooked fast. But I just burn it. You guys have no patience, eh? I Joe, why are you sitting here? There's a chair for you. I forgot I put that chair there. <laughs> sitting on a wet grass. <laughs> it's not wet. Yeah, it the is. The grass is better than the chair. It's wet and dirty. No, it's, well, it's wet a little bit. Let's try my new way. Okay, I don't see it. Is it done or yeah, not? And it's done. Already? Mmm, so good. Okay, Mary and AJ, you might want to move on. We're sitting Mary, can you? Right. Brad's like, Mary, can you look like? Like something like that. Right up here. Alright. And today's a full moon. Merry Christmas on April 27, 2021. We got minus 9 and snow freezing today. And yesterday was plus 14. This thing was steaming all night. The fire is going again. And we're gonna put the pot back in here. Everything is frozen. It doesn't look good. I don't think we'll get any sap today. I think I'm gonna just boil to syrup today and call it a quits until it warms up again. Of course, I'm gonna leave everything, and as soon as it warms up, the sap's gonna flow. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of sap frozen here. Oh wow, this is almost full and it's frozen. One of my good friends built me this. Look at that. First, I was using those bricks, they're all fold apart, cracked up. Then, I was using those pieces of metal. You probably saw it in the video. Now, I'm using this, and I can use this for doing steaks, cook anything on it. It's pretty. Uh, Pretty cool thing. So good of him. He just built that for me. I didn't even ask him. What a good friend. Wow. I love that thing. Hey, now I'm boiling. I'll be boiling this to syrup today. This is from yesterday. I'm just boiling it down inside the house here. Lots of snow outside and yesterday I didn't have any sap. Everything was frozen, so. This is coffee. And this is syrup. Looks the same. As soon as I stopped mixing, it stops steaming because there's barely any more water left here. So you always, that's how I know it's almost ready. See when you're mixing, water comes out. You kind of have to keep mixing until you think it's ready. Well, that's what I figured anyways. I don't know how it's properly. That's pretty dark already. I'll do just a tiny bit more and that should be good. I want to try to do it a little thicker this time. This is soft, this is two days of work and we got barely anything there. We'll see how much we're gonna get. And it's hot. When, once it cools down, it's gonna be very thick. Look how, look how thick it is. Spatula надо взять. Подожди, держи, держи. Yes, I'm holding. Wait, wait, wait. Scrape it down. Yeah, that plastic thing. Wow. Called, it's called a spatula. Uh -huh. Spatula. That's a real syrup right there. Can you erase her? It's called supposed to Mary be. Mary has one. Mary, can I use your eraser? Um, so I'll just take this eraser and cut it in half. There is no dirt, look. Ah, it's clean. Because I filtered yesterday. Every bit of it. Moment of truth. 
almost three days of boiling. Not quite three days. One. A more, just a more. Any bit more, you think? And I got more left. And tiny bit more. This is so thick. Nice. Three jars and a little bit. We had no sap for two days because the weather wasn't good. It was minus nine for evenings, I mean at night. And yesterday was a warm day and it just started yesterday evening to flow again. And it's flowing now, it's plus 14. You can see the drips slowly, it's starting. Not all trees having a lot, those couple have Oh, this one has quite a bit actually. Oh wow, those didn't have anything yesterday evening. They didn't even drip. Now they actually, I don't know when they started it. This one is full. I think it's losing some. So I'll have to start collecting. Oh, this one has quite a bit too. For some reason, some trees are going to have to take the plugs out, clean them. Maybe then they'll start flowing again. Some just trees don't even flow happening here oh wow the bucket is pretty much full here so we do have a lot of sap I'm gonna go start the fire and keep boiling syrup yeah it is a lot of work if you want to do a lot of syrup for a whole winter because we do eat a lot of syrup and another thing I've noticed when it's windy there's way more sap seems like uh, when it's windy it's pumping more so I think that's that's the way trees are pumping there's some kind of mechanism when the wind moves the tree and it pumps somehow warmed up a bit today that's why we got so much sap okay I collected it those are 18 liters I got three of those they're all full right to the cap so it's probably 19 liters this one here is a 19 liter and it's full to the cap too so pretty much four 19 liters I think full so now we're gonna grab the bucket fire is going so we're gonna put it in there and dump everything in here Ooh, there's a hot fire there. I want to drink some. This is not one. Uh, I guess just empty this one there. Can you actually make that? I guess three 18 liters make this pot full. Oh, pretty good. And I still have one more left. Because I have lots of extra sap, I'm trying a smaller pot beside it. Yeah, it's 11.30, <clears throat> I set it up for the night, to propane, and 
I have this for the bonus, just a small one. I fill this thing whole up, put some fresh sap in it, and whatever is gonna boil through the night, and the fire will quit, and we'll start tomorrow morning again. So we'll see how that's gonna go. A little extra bonus, the more the better. And I'm going to bed. Still boiling. Today I'm building a whole bunch of plugs so we can plug the trees. I'm doing with all this lathe. Let's see if I can do something with one hand, show you a little bit. It's hard to do it with one hand. There you go, finished another batch. Yeah, but easier than last year, I did everything with the knife. Now it's with the lathe, it's so much easier. Okay, I'm starting to plug trees. This one already nothing here, so I'm gonna plug that one. It's gonna be nice and tight. It's quite a bit bigger than the hole. It's nice and tight so it doesn't leak. The problem is I started a little bit late this year with the sap. All right, we're done with the syrup. I give up already. <laughs> uh, I made about 21 or 23 jars of syrup, so that was not too bad. Just the small jars. I plugged all the trees. Now I have to wash all the pails and everything put away for next year. Yeah, so thanks for watching the video and see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.